All right, YouTube. We are completely stripping down our old sanctuary, getting ready to move to the new one. So everything is literally everywhere, but slowly but surely we are making progress, I guess. Slowly making progress. And so as usual, before we start this video, we would like to give a huge shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon who are supporting us each month with your amazing donations. We have got some critters in the back, all ready to go to the facility. We are getting stuff done today. Um, and we are going to kind of video here and there throughout the week. So once this week, this is our first week of taking possession of the facility. So I'm gonna video what we've done so far, and then uh, we're gonna get started on moving the animals in and getting the animals all situated. Um, I just got done feeding all of my boas, which was, <sighs> some of them, I swear, they wouldn't make it in the wild. They just would not. Like they don't know how to eat the frozen thawed rat and they get it from like the side or the butt or it's just not great. So that took me a lot longer than I had anticipated, but we are gonna go ahead and get started. So stay tuned because there's a lot of really fun stuff in this video to come. It's moving day, and I just almost dropped my phone. What happened? You the drill? Yep, I brought the drill. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh, it's beginning to look a lot like a reptile sanctuary. Uh-huh, yes, yes, yes it is. All right, I gotta go help them or I'll be in trouble. I'll film later. Okay, so we took a break to eat McKenna's. McKenna's Market is so freaking good. Look at this salad. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. And we got cookies over there. All right, we have set up the Dagoos. They are so excited. And they're just gonna be hanging out here. Yeah. All right, it is Thursday, October 19th. Um, we have, let's see, three weeks and two days until our grand opening. So we have been busting our tails. Um, I am here to turn on lights. I have to clean the Dagoo enclosures. I have to feed the Dagoos. I have to, all the monitors got fed yesterday, except for Petunia, so I have to feed Petunia. I fed all the tarantulas yesterday. Um, but I have some cleaning I need to do and get some other things done. So let's go inside and see what we're looking at right now. All right, so here we are. Someone donated this pumpkin. Shout out Courtney Templeton. She's awesome. She's one of my clients. Her son is one of Nathan's clients and she is always helping us. Um, get the door unlocked here. There's our neighbor. His name is Rob. And the cool thing is, I actually used to live in that house when I was a kid. So let's go in and see how everybody is doing. Sorry, this is so wobbly. All right, I'll hold it with my right hand. Woo, look at you guys. You made a mess. Did you make a mess? You ate all your veggies, good job. So the Dagios are in a temporary enclosure. This will actually be for my Chilobrachis. One of my Chilobrachis cane krakens and my Theraphosa apophysis will go into these. So these will be for tarantulas. Um, but right now we needed a place to put the Dagios. Um, so they're just gonna be in here. Let's see how my tarantulas are doing. Oh, Johan's out. And Lucifer is out. 
Curly Sue is out. Okay, I have not seen my Afona Palma Samani. Oh, there's my other cane Kraken right there. Oh, it just scurried away. It got a worm yesterday. Let's turn on some lights in here. Okay. Boop. All right. Still obviously working very diligently. Oh, look. And the turtles is up. There's some turtle food. All right. Let's get their UVs on here. I'm gonna check their temperature. Oh, that means filled with water. I'll go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna have to give him some more. I think he's about to go into blue. Um, Tommy Pickles needs his light on. Here soon we'll have them all on timers, but for now, this is just the way we have to do things. Um, those guys over there are on timers. Oh, and look who's up looking around. Little Monty is basking. I bet Alfonso is basking too. Let's see. <gasps> Alfonso is basking. Let's get his UV on. There we go. Sorry guys, the camera work's not great. I don't even know where my tripod is. I brought it here. I have no idea where, where I put it. Let's get the light on in here. Woohoo! Look at everybody. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Monty. Hi, sir. Hi, Monty. Can you come and say hi? Hello, sweet boy. Say, yeah, but I'm not so sweet. I will actually bite. Huh, and he wants to bite. Anything that goes into his enclosure because he thinks it's food, i.e. my hand. So I don't pet Monty a whole lot. Sometimes he'll let me pet him. Sometimes I'll put my sleeve down like this. And here he goes to try to bite it. And sometimes he'll let me pet him. But truthfully, Savannah monitors, they like being pet, but you got to get them out of their food response. He is trained to be tong fed. Um, and then occasionally I'll throw some crickets in there so he can run around and catch them. He really likes that. So Monty was in a 10 gallon tank when I first got him. Um, he had no water and he had no hides. He was on carpet, so he had nothing to burrow in. Uh, Monty is a Savannah monitor. Oh my gosh, I cannot, okay there. So they do really love to burrow. Um, so they do need quite a bit of substrate. This still isn't enough substrate for Monty, but this is what we have for him for now. I do, I do give them tubes and stuff like that because um, it, it, they can hide in them. And then I give them a lot of foliage. Um, here's another Savannah monitor. You will not even be able to see Petunia. Petunia was a rescue. She was rescued by our, oh, there she is. She was rescued by our local sheriff department. Um, she has literally no toes. Um, it's very, very sad, the things that happened to Petunia. So this is Petunia's. She gets a bigger enclosure than Monty. The reason is because we still have to add more substrate to her also, but with our move, we took some substrate out, we took her rocks out, we did all the things. Um, she loves this enclosure though. Like she absolutely loves it. And if I move her stuff around, she gets mad. Um, so anyway, she has the bigger enclosure because Monty is very social. Um, so is Alfonso McKinney, which is another Savannah monitor that we have here. Um, and he is just chilling. He needs a lot more foliage, obviously, but we literally just moved everybody this, the last two days everybody got moved. So we're still working on stuff. 
um, which Monty, or I mean, Alfonso is fine. He's been with me for a long time, so he knows the drill. The turtles just got their new pond. They love it. Look at them go. And then of course, Stricter Man. So now, what? Uh, another thing I do as soon as I get here is I get the thermo gun and I check everyone's temperatures because, so let's see, his hot spot is 107 degrees, which is great. That's at the top of that log right there. Let's see. Yeah, 103-ish. And the cool side, let's check the cool side. Cool side is 72. That's a great radius. He can thermoregulate by going to either side. He generally stays over here in the hot side. Um, I put some hides and stuff in the middle there for him, but like this is where he prefers to be is over there. Um, all right, let's check out the green trees enclosure and see what his heat is. Let's see. So he is a whopping 91, 90, yep. Oh, okay, 88. Now these top branches where he can go to get warm are gonna be a lot warmer. Let's see. So because he is a green tree, um, sorry, he should be able to go up higher to get warm. And sometimes it takes a while to read. Yeah, so that's 106.7 all the way up there. So um, because he's an arboreal species, we like to make the hot up here and the cool down here. He is a terrestrial species. So the hot's on one side, the cool's on the other side. Um, this guy's just a greeny knoll. He can live pretty much in anything. I'm gonna pull this off so that these pothos can get some sunlight. Um, but yeah, so that's all we've got going on down here. I need to clean these guys out today. The tortoises need water. This is just what they're in temporarily, which, yeah, I mean, it's 70 degrees in here, so they're doing all right. Um, these guys need a bath. Um, they get a dust bath every day while I clean, and I do have to clean literally every day because they destroy their enclosure. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give them a dust bath. I'm gonna actually first try to find the tripod, then I'm gonna give them a dust bath. And I'm actually also gonna go online real quick. We're trying to get donations as much as we can, but I'm gonna try to go online real quick and see if I can't find something a little bit better for them to live in because this is temporary. It's so cute having them out like this, um, but it's not really working for them very well. Again, they were surrendered and it's really all we had. So this is just a for now type of thing. They do really love it. If you would have seen what they were in before, it wasn't great. It was much smaller than this and they were all in the same one. So all there were four of them in something half this size. And so they were kind of fighting and biting at each other and there's Doug. Doug's a new guy. Um, so yeah. Start giving them a bath. All right, so I stopped videoing right in the middle of everything because I just, we're so busy, I keep forgetting. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys. It's been probably almost a week since I just randomly stopped that video in the middle of like everything. I'm gonna show you guys what we've been working on. All right, so I think I already videoed all this 
the front desk, my urn collection. I have a very large urn collection. I don't know why. I like urns. Our little bagus. That's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. There's Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Uh, Kevin. And that's Doug. Um, and Peter's somewhere. But Ke this Kevin has a massive gash on him that we are treating because of these ones over here. They attacked him, so that's why we separated them. Uh, they were surrendered to us just recently. Um, Degus are very similar to chinchillas. They have a very specific diet. Um, they were eating rat food, which is not ideal for Degus at all. Um, they have recently been receiving raw veggies, which they've never had in their life, and they love them. We do a lot of Timothy hay. Um, we make sure to give them good food that doesn't have molasses in it. It's really bad for these degus, so um, <laughs> they're so cute. I'm very pleased to have them in our collection. Um, but let's continue on. So there's the front desk. Um, let me see if I can. There we go. There's another one of my urns. This is where our merchandise will go. Merchandise there, actually that's retail there. Merchandise there. I hung some of my original paintings. Uh, let's see. The Degu's dust baths. And then, oh, there's Stricter Man. Stricter's out wandering around, look at him. Hey buddy. Uh, Tommy Pickles, the Green and Knoll, Grover. Balthazar, Zach, Haley, Ernesto. Hi, Zach. Hello. This is YouTube, by the way. Uh, we just put a bunch of little fish in this pond. Um, my friend Ryan, shout out Ryan Bates, gave us this really cool aquatic plant. Um, the turtles like it because it feels like they're hiding. So they've been kind of chilling over there. Oh my gosh, look. So they do like that plant. They've been trying to eat the fish, but they're too slow. So the fish have gotten away and they're so tiny they can hide. Like, see that one up underneath that rock there? They do have a place to hide and all that. So uh, our tarantulas are here now. I don't think I had them there the last time I videoed. We have this really nice case for the tarantulas. Um, the girl painting the mural is coming next week. She's gonna start on that wall there. All of my um, little inverts, my Halloween hisser, my Madagascar hissing cockroaches are there. Um, leopard gecko. There's a husband. Oh, that's my husband. Ernesto de la Cruz. Are you happy? He's sleepy. Oh, sweet boy. I keep hearing that. Oh, it's the, it's the big ears. Oh, my God. That's scary. Oh, it's Kevin. He's dragging his food bowl around. The monitor there. Savannah monitor there. Savannah monitor there. Leopard geckos. Hoggle the hog nose. And then way up there is Lord Farquaad. And he has this giant, amazing enclosure. Balthazar's tired. We're all ready to go home because what time is it? It's literally 10 p.m. on a Saturday night and we're still here working. But it's okay because we are getting stuff done. Isn't that right, Kevin? Yes, that is right. Hi, Peter. Peter Pettigrew. That's just because he's missing a tail. That's why his name is Peter Pettigrew. And then there's Doug. My Therophosa apophysis is right there. If you're wondering what that is, let's see if I can get a better look at him. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a leg. Hold on. There we go. Okay. 
And that's a very large spider. He is munching on his super worm right there. Kevin. Yeah, and there's the giant tarantula. So cool. Oh, they're eating their timothy grass, or their timothy hay. All right, so that's what we've got so far. There's some more stuff going on upstairs, but we're exhausted. So I'll video some more tomorrow. All right, I really should have videoed before this, but we have just been in the zone working. This is before, kind of, not really, because we've done a lot still. Before here, before here. All right, we are back in the kitchen area. If you guys remember, this is what I was working on yesterday. Cleaning everything up, getting everything set up. There's our prep table, our little rolling cart. This is, we're gonna use this to put dirty um, salad plates on, take them over to the sink over there clean them off, prep new ones here. Um, and yeah, yeah, let's show you what else we've been working on. All right, this room is still such a mess. We are, this is out of here probably today, hopefully. The Dagoos get their new enclosure today. Um, it should be delivered anytime now. Uh, we're waiting on it. My sister bought a new snake for our tree. Look how cute. Um, we've got a lot of cleaning to do, uh, rearranging, organizing, because we are really coming up on our deadlines here, guys. I've got to clean out the insides of these tanks where I missed them every day. They just kind of look kind of blocky. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna try to get some of this stuff done today, today. Got to feed everyone, do all that stuff. I'll video some of that soon. Okay, okay so today is, what's today? Today is Thursday, October what, baby? 26. October 26th, okay. This is temporary, but we have two Dagoos in here. And then we have three Dagoos in here. They're eating their greens as you can see um i'm just gonna catch you guys all up to speed on what i've been doing for the last few days we started making our own merchandise why because we have to uh we cannot afford to pay somebody to make merchandise um so we did the smarter thing and we got our own sublimation printer, our own press, and for the cost of all that stuff is how much one load of t-shirts is. So honestly, it's working out. So anyway, we got Betty in here yesterday. She's eating her salad. I'm sure she's picking out all of the squash and the green peppers because that's what her favorite thing is. Uh, we got a new little pump for the turtles that puts oxygen back up into the water. That's gonna help with the smell and keep the oxygen circulating in there. Um, we moved some things around. So we've got our hissers down here. Uh, Templeton, Lester, and Phineas here. Stricter Man obviously is still there. The Green Tree Python Grover. Tommy Pickles, the Green Anole. Um, Martha Stewart is up there. All this stuff, we have to clear out all of this. Um, oh, let's go outside and see what's happening out here because we are, pa we are passing out candy for trick or treat. So we wanted to decorate. Let's go out here and see what we've got going on. And I actually need to push him up more, but he needs to stand up just a little bit more. We've got some serious decor going on. And here's the cool thing, is that this was all donated to us. Um, now the blow ups, the inflatables, those are my friend Courtney's. 
we aren't keeping them. She's just allowing us to use them this year um, because she can't use them this year. So she is letting us, but how freaking amazing does that look? And we're not even done. We just got another drop off of um, stuff. Courtney also um, carved this pumpkin. We laugh and call it the denture pumpkin because it looks like it has dentures. <laughs> it's seen better days. Um, but yeah, she just dropped off this stuff too. We'll see what's in there. And we're gonna use some of that also. So go upstairs and fix the the guy. He needs to stand up a little bit better. So yeah, stuff is getting done little by little, day by day. Small things. Okay, let's see. Um, oh. oh, yeah, he needs to stand way up. world's tiniest little jumping spider. Look at it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I was going to untie these and tighten them, but I don't want to hurt that jumper, so we're just going to leave it be. I think it's good enough. Just as a reference of how massive this thing is. down on all the trick-or-treaters that will be here in two nights. Um, the next thing that we have to do is clean out this room. Totally scrub it down, clean it up because it is a mess. But like we have been, we spent probably a thousand dollars on all of this stuff to sublimate our own shirts and our own things. And we bought... Now I'm no expert at this, but I am pretty decent with stuff and learning quickly. So um, for the price to buy all of this stuff ourselves, we also got enough shirts to um, make most of our money back. So if we can sublimate these and sell them, we will make most of our money back. So that's the whole point in all of that. Um, we just do not have the money to pay somebody to make merchandise. Um, and this way, we're about to leave for the night. And this way, um, I can have it exactly how I want it. And if it's screwed up, it's my fault. So, um, but yeah, so keep watching. This is my last segment of this video. Um, and then we will be videoing all about the Jungle Jam, which is happening Sunday. So I hope to have that video up Monday or Tuesday. So stay tuned and keep watching us because we have a lot to come.